Ready, ready, ready? Yep. We said we could not do ourselves for OB10 and somehow we managed to do it again. I mean, look how crazy this looks. This is the full walkthrough and overview video of the interiors and exteriors of OB11 and exactly what we did to make them look this sweet. Grab something to drink, hang out, because this is gonna be a crazy one, and kind of a long one. And I also can you guys do me a huge, huge favor, huge favor. We're trying to grow the YouTube channel and we need likes and comments and subscribes. So if you wanna like the video, it helps us out and it's free of charge, it doesn't cost you anything if you subscribe. For the base of the truck, this is a 2020 King Ranch S350 Dually, and it's a ruby red with a gray bottom. So basically what we did for the front end was, we took this grill out, took the emblem out, took the headlights out, the whole front end came out, and we paint matched everything. So we did like a little round, like a little red exterior on the grill with a gray interior. Then we did the red and gray badge, and then uh, we moved to the headlights. So the grill's done, all painted, all like Ford, legit paint, paid a lot of money for the paint, and then same with the headlights. So we took the ruby red paint, got it mixed, painted the headlights, like opened them up, melted them, put them in the oven, baked them, sealed them back up. The whole process is to do headlights by itself. It's a big deal. That's like a big move and that took a lot of time and we did it because it makes the truck look insane in the front. Front end basically just paint match, looks really, really clean. For suspension on the truck, obviously it's lifted a little bit, nothing crazy, it's still workable, still makes sense, but we did a four inch BDS lift in the front, radius arm lift, and then we did a three inch block lift in the rear from BDS. And then on top of that, we threw Fox shocks all the way around it and it looks pretty nasty. And then sitting on the four inch lift is a set of 24 by 9 JTX Forge wheels. If you guys don't know what JTX Forge is, it's basically um, like American Force and Specialty Forge. You guys probably heard of those wheels. They're really expensive. They're forged. They're like 15 grand for a set. Same thing, just a different brand. Um, I like these guys more because they're just badass. Badass wheels. Super sweet. All right, so coming in from the, the side wall of the truck, we did the door badges. So obviously just you see the red 350 and then the gray little exterior because these are all chrome before. Front end was chrome. This was chrome. Threw a little mirror cap on there. You know, Boss logo on the side of it. Pretty uh, base. It's not like crazy of a build, but it just takes time to do all these things. And this is supposed to be a work truck that's really, really sweet. Coming to the rear, we have a uh, an airlift 7500 XL airbag system that is Bluetooth controlled. Actually, I'm gonna show you real quick. Hold on. So it's a Bluetooth remote controlled system with a compressor and everything hidden very nice. Basically, you turn the screen on and you can mess around with all your air pressures. So, like, if I drop it down, a PSI, it's gonna drop it down or drop it up or Whatever. I drop mean, it up. <laughs> drop it up, drop it down. If you're driving around with the trailer, hit that one button, tsh, airs it all the way out, rides good in the end. If you have a huge load on it like this, hit the button, raises it up, and it no squat, looks sweet, it's amazing. Uh, this truck is perfectly level, doesn't squat at all, so I know you guys don't like that squat and stuff, it ain't gonna do it. Forgot to mention this, under the hood, this is a fully stock motor, trans, tune, everything. But we do have an SB air intake on there because it makes the turbo sound really sweet, and I like that, so it's on the truck. It's nothing, basically, I feel like mentioning it, but Figured I would because it's everything about the truck. So it's like a 400 hour intake. It's nothing crazy, but sounds sweet. You hear the turbo really kind of be alive in that thing. Um, anyways, it's cool with the King Ranches, Platinums, and Limiteds is you get factory things that like a normal Lariat or anything under doesn't, you don't get. And it's as stupid and it sounds dumb, but if you want to do this on the aftermarket side, it's like probably $1,500 including labor. And that's simple as power steps, dude. They, they're so nice. Power steps are amazing and I'm a big fan of them. Also, like, this is just the one of the baddest trucks I've ever seen in my entire life. Absolutely nasty. All right, so I'm gonna pop the Pano sunroof open because for some reason the Rams don't do this. I think it's because on the Gen chassis still. But basically we have a 2020 F-50 in here and it's not the 22s with the giant screen, but they're still really nice trucks. And uh, it's King Ranch, so you got brownish leather with the King Ranch logo right here. And then your little brown uh, dash, full panel sunroof. You have 360 cameras in here, so it's pretty sweet. Um, you can go all the way around the truck, look in front to the sides, to the top. You can see everything with this thing. That's for the trailer, sorry. <laughs> you can also, yeah, actually go back to that. Um, if you want to, we decided not to do it, but if you want to, you can put a camera on your trailer and hook it up to the truck. I would do it with a camper if I owned that. Maybe not like work trailer, just probably break it. Um, but all these camera systems are really cool. So you have that, you have lane, like lane keeping assist. You can't see it's on the screen over here, Mitch, but lane keeping assist basically. It won't let you ride the lanes very well. It just nice, keeps it nice and tidy and nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really sweet. Hill descent control, really, really cool. So if you're going on a huge hill with a trailer or a load, the truck will automatically brake for you and kind of, like, assist you going down a giant hill because people don't understand how crazy it is with the, with the load. It will push you down the hill. If you're ever, like, like, a nice big incline, you get shoved down there, and it's pretty little scary, actually. Um, 
you have your automatic jake brake I should say engine brake not really not a real jake brake but it has an auto feature and then just an on feature it's pretty cool um a little compartment here for like you know your storage you got a little 12 volt here and your little um, carport nice wireless charger down here with usbs and everything and then you have a little nice piece of wood cover to make it looking pretty pretty sweet big deep center console it's sweet um, I don't know if I would ever use this. I never have used it. I don't. I've never seen someone use it. I don't know why Ford does this, but it does have this, um, a trailer backup system. So when you're backing up, you turn the button and it like steers for you. I don't know. I know how to use a trailer, so interesting. Yeah, it's fine for me. But it has the Bang and Olufsen's um, sound system in here. Like I said, full pano. Every option you could probably get in the truck. It's 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 in here. And actually, I think we have a sticker. All right. So we're gonna look at some of the options this thing does have on top of the ranch. So. The red is a four hour option. The diesel's ten, almost eleven grand. Fifth wheel prep package, five hundred bucks. Got some splash guards, wheel liners, um, spray bed liner, and the King Ranch Ultimate package. So the King Ranch Ultimate package literally means average option. <laughs> There's like not an option. You have rear heated seats. You have, I mean, I don't know what else you don't have in these trucks. Maybe not the best at explaining it, but these are badass trucks. I mean, they're four wheel drive. They have all the capabilities towing anything you want under like thirty thousand pounds. Freaking wild to deal with. It's badass. Uh, 6.7 is absolutely nasty. Oh. So that has almost 500 horsepower and uh, like 900 plus pound feet of torque. I can't remember if it's 900 or 1,000. I can't remember 100%. Don't quote me on that one. I don't know everything. Um, but I do know that the King Ranch is probably one of my favorite interiors because it's this like King Ranch, Platinum, and Limited are all the same. It's just different styles. So like the King Ranch is more the work boy, like hop out on the farm, looks really sweet. The interior is like, I think one of the coolest ones that Ford offers. Your Platinum is more your city guy with a nice truck trim level and then the limited is just like the boss like he doesn't get his truck dirty the seats are quilted you have big badge saying limited right here so it's, it's cool i'm a big fan of the king ranch though and then the king ranch is sick you have adaptive cruise control so your truck will you know drive and brake for you and it's pretty it's kind of scary and it does with the trailer it's extremely scary actually Damn. like you go behind a car and then we'll start braking for you like oh shit, what are you doing but yeah here's the truck interior is pretty sweet huh sick Not yeah bad. i like it all right so going from the badass absolutely I mean, I don't know what like I don't know much more you could do to a Super Duty than this without making it outrageously unusable. Like it's a big set of wheels and tires. A, it's on 37s. So, like it's a badass truck. And then we decided to go a little crazy once again, like usual. So we have a 2022 Low Trail 25 foot gooseneck. As you can tell, it's not the normal black color that it was when we bought it. It's a little bit different. We took the factory Ford colors out of the F350 and threw them on the trailer. So we did a ruby red top with a sweet like stone gray bottom and we followed as close as we possibly could to the truck to match it to fall with the entire trailer and the length of the trailer. The trailer is brand new, like I said, brand new tires, brand new axles, brand new everything. It's a brand new trailer. And uh, obviously had that weird, gross, normal pine wood look. So we uh, sanded down the deck and burned it and then sealed it. So we got a torch, we followed it with a torch, literally burnt the deck and then sealed it in with some sealer. And it had this really kind of like rustic, worn, but new look it's kind of cool um i don't the whole trailer through 16 rock lights underneath it so at night loading unloading if you want to be cool or not in the black parking lot you can light up your 26 rock lights on the truck and the 16 on the trailer light up and it looks pretty damn sweet <laughs> um like we said though we followed the whole length of the trailer so the top is red the bottom is gray and it just kind of follows that king ranch virtue through the entire trailer and the machine so it looks it looks sweet if you come from like back here this is the angle that you really can tell this is a custom trailer you can't buy this anymore put a lot of time and money and work into all this looking like a true like king ranch set up from factory that was the whole idea like like what would ford sell you from factory they'd probably sell you something that looks just like this if they were doing what we did right so that's the whole idea behind it uh the whole setup is just a full king ranch ruby red stone gray badass setup that you can't buy you can only win so sounds crazy to say that isn't it can't buy it yeah can't buy it but you can win it so very very extensive paint job done to it and then like that's already sick like you have a brand you have a 2020 king ranch on 24 and 37s and then you have a brand new low trail and then like that's, that should be enough right like it's pretty sweet nope <laughs> we got a a little something crazy i don't know if you can see the little the little badge over there can you see that what does it say what does it say 299 299 not a 289 boys 299 so, so we have one of the biggest trucks from ford a 350 one of the bigger goosenecks from low trail and then we have the biggest cat from cat like you can't get a bigger skid loader than a 299 you can't <laughs> and we just give it away uh, it hurts my brain it hurts <laughs> my brain it does this skid old skid over here right this uh skid steer is a 2017 cat 299d with 1200 hours on it 
It's a beast. I mean, when I tell you, it's a freaking beast. This thing's huge. And it's a brute. Like, <laughs> I've ridden a lot of skids in my day. That thing's pretty nasty. I wasn't the biggest, biggest fan of cat. I, I like John Deere a lot. That thing is nasty, though. Like, a, a T870 Bobcat, and those things are animals. This is pretty comparable. So, this machine is, uh, and as you can tell, it's not yellow. Took the factory Ford color, and took the factory Ford gray color, and we threw on the machine with a 78 inch tooth bucket to make it look as big as possible, and we painted the entire thing. So, obviously, we did the, the, the red with the gray accent everywhere, and the Omos Pico uh, stickers and logos in red. And then, um, like, even the details, like the exhaust tip up there is red. You got the bolts that are red. Like, it just, we went, we went a little hard on this one. It just looks really good. There's a lot of fine and finite details in the build that we went on for a skid steer that no one does because that's what we do. We like the things in the details. And if you match up all the details in the truck, trailer, machine, it just looks insane. It looks like a SEMA build almost. We did something a little different. If you guys can tell, the paint is a little more rough all in the front end of this machine, all the way up from here down to the bottom and on both sides and everything. If you can kind of tell a little bit, there's a tape line right here that will follow suit from all this. And this is not a bad paint job. This is on purpose. You guys ever seen a Chevy and you look at the bottom of the Chevy by like the, the rear quarter and you're like, what's that like grip tape loop and stuff? It's something called Rock Guard. So what Rock Guard does is it adheres to the paint and has a weird texture to it and like some sand and some film in there. I don't really know how exactly how it works chemically. <laughs> but basically what it feels like is there's sand on this. So when you're picking up a rock and it falls in the paint, it's not going to just chip off. It's like has some more rigidity to it. It adheres to it a little differently. So we do that all along all the contact points at the front of the machine, like everywhere you're stepping, everywhere rocks can fall, like all the way down here, everything, it's all rock guarded. It almost looks messed up in the paint, but it's not. So I'm trying to tell you guys now before you see it, like, what's wrong with the paint in the front end? We did it on purpose. It's called rock guard. Look into it. It's pretty sweet. It's made by 3M. Absolutely badass. All right, boys, we're going to get an interior shot of the cat. And uh, obviously with the dark tint on there because uh, we like the tint. It looks sweet. You can take it off if you don't like it. But I'm gonna crawl on this thing real quick. Turn around. There we go. She's on. I'm sure this AC is about 120 degrees in here. All right, so we're in the cat. You saw me just start it. We're just chilling this thing. But what? These things don't come with a, a crazy amount of options. I mean, literally the only option you can get in these things is a radio <laughs> and a backup camera. And unfortunately. This does not have a radio or a backup camera. So other than that, it's a badass machine. It has the 1,234 hours on it. It's a 17. It's the biggest cat they've ever made, and it's not destroyed in here. So it's been maintained. Um, took it to Michigan Cat, got the oil changed, got the filters, fuel filters changed, check all the hydraulics, check the fluids, check the pumps. Like, we ran through it. This machine's badass. So, yes, sir, here's the machine, baby. Woo! Like I said, in every single video, I'm going to try to to bring a little positivity to it, all right? These giveaways are meant for... The people that want to get entered from and want to change their life but i want you guys to take something outside of the giveaways if you don't win it the clothing has almost 80 percent of it is all like motivating inspiring american ideas about like you know freedom or you know work hard play hard or this and that right you know you can wear your motivation through the shirts or you can watch these videos and listen to the podcast forever but would you guys like need to get out of this whole video and conversation in the brand would you need to get out of the whole brand like you need to look at the brand and think about it for a second is anybody can be their own boss you just have to work hard enough that's all it is you know, this, just, if you don't win the top, doesn't mean you can't be your own boss. It's not how this works. You can go replicate this in your own life and go, like, buy your truck and then buy your trailer and buy your machine and, and work it and do it. It's just showing you this is out there. Like, you can do this and you can make a lot of money in the construction field because no one wants to do it and everyone's lazy. So if you get off your ass and go work really hard, you will make a lot of money in this field, in any sort of labor field. If you work your hands, your body, and your brain, you'll make a lot of money. But it's hard. So, uh, anyway, saying that, guys, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, say what's up in the comments. Let us know what setup you guys want to see next. And you probably want to get entered for this setup because it's the craziest one we've ever done yet. And I know I say it every time, but sorry, we outdo ourselves every single time we do a giveaway. I don't know.